Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is a special day. It is the second Saturday of the month, which means that in Michigan, there is the Reptile Expo. So I woke up this morning and at, I don't know, some ungodly hour, like nine o'clock. Um, and I realized that today was the second Saturday, so I decided that I would go to the Reptile Expo. I was going to order my Bearded Dragons food last night online, but I was going to use my points for it through the reward system that they have, and I didn't have enough points. I was like 25 off, and then I was waiting for my points to... It doesn't matter. Anyways, so I'm going up to the Reptile Expo to get her some food. It tends to be a lot more inexpensive there than it is at my local pet stores so that's what I'm doing today um, I don't think I'm gonna be taking my camera in with me but I will try to get some shots of the place on my phone it's not gonna be as good of quality but it's okay we're not gonna talk about it right, I'll see you guys there getting dark the dusk was dreaming maples swept and swayed the stars were gleaming too young to keep my little mind from wandering you were walking round the edge of cash island trying to find your way back to the cabins that's the night that i began to worry about So I literally just got back from the Reptile Expo. Um, I was there probably for about an hour, if that. I knew what I wanted and I got that, looked around a little bit and got out before I bought any new pets. <laughs> um, so I'll show you guys what I got. So I got Khaleesi, my bearded dragon, some more Dubia roaches. Um, this is, I think there's a hundred in here. These guys cost about $20, and they're like a large size. Let me see if you can see that. I don't know why I'm going that way. There you go. And so there's about 100 in there, and then I don't keep them in here. I put them into a little cricket or a small container where they have food and some water and more cardboard so they have room to run around and get gut loaded before I feed them to her. Then for that, I was also running low on their chow. So usually I get the Flukers one that you can get at like any pet store. Um, that's about like three to five dollars, I think, but it's a fairly smaller like size container. So today I decided to get a decent size one. This one's only five dollars and it comes with so much more. This stuff lasts me forever and it's the main source of what my Dubia roaches eat. So they don't really get much else. If I have extra like greens or carrots or whatever, I'll throw some in there. But for the most part, this is what they eat and survive on. <laughs> and then lastly, I decided to get her some super worms. She hasn't had these guys in forever. You can't really see them. There's like about 50 in here, but they're all hiding. And I'm too much of a wimp to like actually touch them. But there's supposedly 50 in here. Um, you might be able to see like some movement or whatever in there. Um, I don't really know how to take care of these guys exactly. He told me to move them up to a bigger container, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them in a bigger container. And then he said carrots work really well with these guys. Um, so they also eat their bedding. So what they're in right now are oats, just like some plain oats. 
they eat it and he says once it gets finer then it's actually fertilizer which means they ate it and then pooped it out so I got 50 of these when I first got Khaleesi back in January, she was really only eating super worms. When I got her, I, um, she wasn't really eating them for me. I don't know if it was because she just moved in and she was getting all settled in and whatnot, but she wouldn't eat them for me. Um, I did switch her back to crickets. She was eating crickets as well, so super worm crickets. And so I'm going to see if she wants these guys. Obviously, they're not going to be her staple. The doobie roaches are still going to be her staple. These are just going to be like an every once in a while treat. Um, oh, there's one if you can see him. He's moving around in there. Yeah, they're kind of nasty looking. Uh, um, I'm definitely going to be using the tweezers with these guys because I do not want to touch them. But yeah. They had a bunch of super cute um, different reptiles there today. They had a bunch of snakes. They had leopard geckos. They had everything from chickens and possums to rats, dogs, bunnies, hedgehogs. They had it all there. Um, I think the cutest part was the axolotls. They were freaking adorable and I would love to have one, but I know that their care is so intense and different from what we're used to and you have to be really careful with them and I'm just not at a level where I'm comfortable taking care of them because I don't know if I would do that well of a job <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna go put these guys away um I can show you guys where I put the dubia roaches and their setup really quick and yeah okay so this is where I currently have my roaches they have a little food and water container in there it's just like a little habitat thing. Here's the little lid for it. They're water gel crystals. So I'm going to take these guys and put them into their new home where they can get gut loaded. Guides were weary and the sky began to rain without concern. Thought it would be best to fall. for watching this video if you like it make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure to hit that subscribe button and also leave any questions or comments down in the comment section below I would love to hear what you guys have to say okay see you guys in my next video